Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the geometric constraints up here to go from an ugly sketch, just like the one seen here, to a sketch that's a lot more symmetrical and overall better looking. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to come back over to our hideous looking sketch over here, and this sketch is available in the comments section if you would like to download it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this sketch. So when you download the file, you're going to have something like this. To go in now, you're going to want to right click here, uh, edit sketch. Okay, and now we're in sketch mode and we're ready to start using our geometric constraints up here. All right, so let's go ahead and start using our geometric constraints up here to polish up this sketch. But before we do so, it's important to realize that when you add constraints, such as the geometric constraints up here, what you do is you're constraining your sketch. You're locking it into place so things don't move, essentially. And sometimes it may be necessary to go back and delete some of these constraints to free up your sketch so things can move. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and grab my parallel constraint, and I'm going to make this line parallel with this line. All right and it's already starting to look better, right? So we're gonna come down to our equal constraint and we're gonna make this line equal with this line. So now it's the same length, all right? But notice the top of the line is higher, so we can fix that with our horizontal and vertical constraint. I'm gonna make this point horizontal with this point. All right, looking good. Now I'm gonna start working on this part over here. So I'm gonna go ahead now and let's go ahead and do a parallel constraint. Let's make this one parallel to this one. Okay, and let's see here. Let's now make this point is not in line with this point, but we can fix that by using our horizontal vertical constraint. And there we go. Now I'm gonna make this line equal with this line. So come on up, grab your equal constraint, click on this line and then click on that line. Okay, and then now I wanna make this line equal with this line. So I'm gonna click here and click there. All right, looking better. So now let's start working on this area down here and clean this up. So let's come on up to our perpendicular constraint here. This make our lines 90 degrees. So I'm gonna make this one 90 degrees with this one. And I'm gonna do this one, it looks like it's already here, but yep, looks good. Let's do this one with this one. Okay, and now you may have noticed that, well, this one's really, this point right here is not matched up with that point. So we can come back up here to our, oh, where'd it go? Okay, our coincident constraint, or I'm sorry, our horizontal constraint and make it horizontal with this one. Okay, looking good. But notice these are different lengths here. So let's come back to, over to our equal constraint, make this one equal with this one and this one equal with that one. Okay, and now I'm gonna come back over here to my coincident constraint and I want this dot to match up with that dot. Okay, and now we kind of made this look a little ugly, but we, once again, we can fix that, right? So let's come back to parallel. Let's make this one parallel with this one and then make this one parallel with this one and then let's make them equal so they're all the same length. This one equal with that one and that one equal with that one, okay? And it looks like we're good. So the next thing we wanna do now is come up to our tangent constraint. Let's make these big arcs look uh, proportional here to our sketch. So now we have this nice smooth transition between our lines and our arc. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, and that looks pretty good. And the next thing I'm gonna show you is what's called the concentric constraint. So I can click on this circle right here, okay? And I'm gonna click on this arc and now they're concentric, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to use your midpoint, okay, constraint. So I'm gonna click on my midpoint constraint and I'm gonna click on my circle, or excuse me, the center of the circle and I'm gonna click on this line and it's gonna place this center point right on the middle of this line, like that, okay? And now we can come back to our tangent constraint and we can make this tangent with that, okay? And now we can trim this stuff, okay? So now it's even more symmetrical. And let's do the same thing for this circle. Let's come back to our midpoint. I'm gonna click on the center of this circle. I'm gonna click on this line. And I'm gonna click on my tangent constraint. And I'm gonna click here and here. And then once again, we're gonna trim some of these lines up here. So once you're all done, if you're in my class, make sure you take a screenshot 
of your nice symmetrical sketch here with all of your geometric constraints, your parallels, your horizontal vertical constraints, your perpendicular constraints, your tangent constraints. Okay, so make sure you include all of that good stuff. All right, so I can see that you applied your geometric constraints successfully. All right, so that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.